We're reviewing today by Matica, the three LED under cabinet lighting with the PIR sensor of up to about four or five minutes of time when you walk away from the unit. As the unit came on, I'm not in the trigger zone. You see me making the video, the trigger zone, as soon as I walk in the door. What we want here is to have it triggered when we're near the counter and nowhere else. So this way we can work over there. And I'm going to show you how to make that install happen. I'm testing my zone out by walking back and forth, seeing where it's going to trigger. As I get closer and closer, it won't trigger anywhere behind here. This is where it's going to start to trigger, right about at this door handle over here. This is exactly what we want. So this way we could do our work. And once we are out of the zone, is going to shut off. Enjoy the video, and I hope this product may be right for you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We have here our number of lights, battery operated, underneath the counter that simply can be detached. And then you can simply look for the magnets and reattach. They can continue to go on and off in the room or out of the room, depending on if there's heat around it or incorrect sensing. If you went to grab it and it fell, the chances are that it can slide open like so. There is a switch you need to shut off located on top and you have a charging port. If you don't want wires, the battery operated ones are for you. They come with the magnet that you can hook up and take off. Some units you touch and you long press on the unit to dim, change colors. Some units are hand waves. These are the PIR sensors. The battery's located inside and these are where you put the magnetic stickers. This is from a company. It has three Kelvins, 3,000, 4,500, and 6,000 Kelvin. They come in a two LED strip or a three LED strip. If you get a three LED strip like so, you cannot continue on to a fourth LED light. Yes, you can by simply unplugging and buying another kit. With the kit, you get a four foot cable. So if one cable is shy or the other is shy to where you need to put, you put the extension on. As simple as grabbing both ends correctly, pulling away to one side, grabbing the cable that you just taken off, the same type of connection, place on, and the other end, place on. And now you have a longer cable. Installing is very simple. You have 12 adhesive stickers, four clips with backing on them already. You have three clips for the wiring that you must put the backing on yourself. And before you do so, get yourself some tape. Decide where you want to put the PIR sensor. If you have something magnetic, it will stick. Do a test run. For me, my sensor over here is going to catch me at the door, walking in towards the sink where I need to be at. I have an outlet in a number of places so I can put everything. I'm going to do my test run. I'm going to take some tape, adhesive. I'm going to find a spot where I want my light. Do my best to make sure where my leads are going to fall. And stick up my last one. And make sure the cable leads fall correctly where I need to put my sensor. I have an outlet behind the range 
So if I want to hide my wires, I could simply dress it up like so. Temporarily going to stick it into this outlet and my lights come on. I'm going to walk out of the eye of the PIR sensor so you could get an idea of when it does come on after a minute's time from now. I'm out of the picture in a minute's time as I walk in and I want to walk in right here. And that's where the light came on, right here. And that is perfect because when we get over here, everything is well lit up, the whole area. And that's exactly what we want underneath of the cabinet. If I don't want this cable as long and want the light short, which would be better, I simply just again take everything off and then just simply dress up on the corner. I could shift things down just a little bit the way I want. The extension is needed or not needed until you find the way you like your system hooked up. Then you're ready to finish your install. You come over to the PIR sensor. You take the strong magnet clip off. The adhesive on the back and secure to where you want. Once you know your spots where you are happy, it is time now to take the PIR sense apart, hang it up, peel, carefully look at the notch little hole where my thumb is at and over here. It's going to lock in and hang back up. Three foam adhesives on the back. Peel off and stick. Each light gets a red sticker. Place one on each corner and one in the middle. With each end tip, peel off the red. You're going to level centered and start to stick down. Apply pressure for 30 seconds on each end and the middle, like so. You're left over with the spare set, a clip or two. If you don't use, put away with your cable and extension. Go over the instructions if you're unclear. You get to learn your unit as the instructions are very easy. Remember not to dispose in fire, immerse with water, clean with a wet towel, damp, dry off when in the off position. Congratulations. You successfully installed your corded LED lights under the cabinet no longer have to worry about recharging over and over and over again. But battery operated lights can be put anywhere as well as corded lights. After a minute's time, up to five minutes, the lights will go off. And when they do go off and they sense you walking into the kitchen, no matter how long you work in the area, under cabinet lighting, you have the options to come over here and change your Kelvin. This is what we like to be on. And you have the options to change your area of timer. There is really no need to change a timer to the maximum when you keep it on the minimum. You can work here all day long. Those lights not going to come off until you leave the room. Once you leave the room, a minute later the lights will go off and that is the way this unit works. I hope you enjoy your product. If this is something that you are looking for in under cabinet lights, enjoy your product if this is right for you.